It is December 24th, 2017, times about 1319, and we are going to make some more copper quarters. I just want to uh, say real quick, well, here's a silver one, as you can see here. You gotta be careful, I've learned some things doing this. Um, we learned that if you heat it to the point where you're near the melting point of copper, so it's like a yellowish orange color, this works a lot better, but you gotta be careful because if you point the heat source too long, you get bubbles. Um, and we also noticed that some quarters have impurities in them that uh, don't know what it is, probably iron would be my guess, that don't flush out when you heat it. So you gotta be careful. So Sarah's gonna do this one. Um, now when you heat it, and when I say heat, we're using this for our methyl alcohol, but we're using that as our catalyst, actual heat. Sarah's got a butane torch. You gotta heat it to around the melting point around of uh, copper, which is around, what, 1900 Fahrenheit, I think, so uh, 1900 to 2000, somewhere in there. So you gotta do it until it's a yellowish orange. And when you do it, remember to be safe and uh, you know, everything you need, gloves, whatever. Um, but you can't dip it in the methanol while it's a yellowish orange because it'll set the alcohol on fire, as I found out one time. But when you do it, you can tell, because you'll see it, you gotta move it around. That's how you avoid getting a bubble in it as it melts. So this one's getting close, but you see that's how, see that right there. Now you know it's near the melting temperature. Just do it for a few seconds longer. It's a nice yellowish orange. That should be good, I think. Now you gotta wait for it to turn to a reddish orange. You can do it now. And then you're gonna get the double reaction. First it boils because of the heat and the temperature of the coin. And then there's your second one. And now you know, now you have the copper coin. So the reaction that I think, and like this residual stuff, I'll polish right off with some a real fine, uh, um, Steel wool. Steel wool, yeah. But um, I, the reaction that I think is occurring is that when you heat, because quarters are about 92% copper, 8% uh, zinc, I believe, in the actual composition. Zinc has a much lower melting temperature than copper does, a lot lower. But it's nickel plated, and nickel has a higher melting point. So what I think is what is happening is when you heat it with the torch, you're actually causing the nickel plating to ionize and that allows it to react with the methanol and basically stripping it. I have no idea what the chemical reaction actually is. If anyone has any ideas, you know, please let me know. But there's a silver one for comparison. We're gonna do it one more time just to show the reaction close up. And it's getting there. Sarah's heating it right now. It's almost yellowish orange melting. There you go. Okay, dip it now. See, it still looks silver as it cools, but then that second, the actual reaction, which is delayed. And now, it's copper. 